Hi there, and welcome to another video on substitution. So we've done a previous video on basic substitution. We're continuing this and just moving along to slightly more difficult cases of substitution. As you'll remember from the last video, substitution is where you swap the letter in some algebraic expression for a number. And let's do example one. So in this case, we have a is equal to 3 here, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 8. And we're asked to work out the following three things. So wherever we see either a, b, or c, we now swap it for a number. So let's do the first part. We want to work out 5a plus b. Remember, 5a here means 5 times a, and then we add b. So substitute into brackets, as we always say to do. So keep the 5 there, and it's 5 brackets 3 plus whatever b is, and b is 4. Now, 5 a's, or 5 3, means 5 times 3. Okay, so that's 15, we have from there, plus 4. And so we get 19 as our answer, and underline our answer. So do it like this in your notes. Next part, we want to work out 3 a's, plus 2 c's, plus 10. So 3 a's, substituting in, we have 3 lots of 3, so 3 bracket 3, plus 2 lots of C, which is 2 bracket 8, and then we have plus 10. So let's work out each bit separately. 3 lots of 3, 3 bracket 3 means 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2 times 8, which is 16, plus 10. And if we add these up, we have that 9 and 16 is 25, add 10 is equal to 35. And we're done in the second example. Part 3, we have 4A plus 6B, plus 2c. So substituting in, we've got 4 lots of a, and a is 3, add 6 lots of b, and b is 4, add 2 lots of c, and c is equal to 8. So 4 lots of 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 6 lots of 4, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 lots of 8, which is 2 times 8, which is 16. Okay, so if you add these up, 12 and 24, well that adds up to 36, and you add yourself another 16 and you get yourself 52. And we've done the first three examples. So make sure you write them just like that in the book. And remember that when you substitute in like 3a, it means 3 times whatever a is. So now I would like you to do um, the first two tasks on the worksheet that you've got. The first two tasks on the first page. When you've done that, move on to the next example, which I will start now. Okay, then. It's very similar. We have a is 3, b is 4, and c is 5. I want you to write this on the second uh, page of your, uh, of your working. Okay, so we're going to substitute in here. Now, the only difference here is we've got some subtractions. It's take away 3b, take away 3c, and a take away 2a, and take away 2c. That's the only difference, but the idea is exactly the same. So let's do this. 10a is, we're going to substitute in the a, a, b, and 3, 10 lots of a, Subtract 3 lots of b, and b is now 4, from here and here. And 10 times 3 is 30, take away 3 times 4, which is 12, and we take these away from each other, and we get ourselves 18 is our answer. So just watch out for subtractions in these examples, whereas in the first set of examples, they were all additions. Let's quickly do the other two examples. 5a plus 2b subtract 3c, so 5 lots of a is 5 lots of 3, plus 2 lots of b, which is 2 lots of 4, subtract 3 lots of c, which is 3 lots of 5. Now, 5 times 3 is equal to 15, plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8, subtract 3 times 5, which is 15. And if we add that up, we can see that 15, take away 15 is nothing, and we're just left with 8. Okay, so that's our answer. Or you could add them up, 15 add 8 is equal to 23, and then take off 15, you'll get 8 back. Let's do the last example. We've got 10b, so we've got 10 lots of b, which is 10 lots of 4. Take away 2 lots of a, which is 2 lots of 3. Take away 2 lots of c, which is 2 times 5. Now let's work this out. 10 times 4 is 40. Take away 2 times 3 is 6. Take away 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 40 take away 6 is 34. Take away another 10 is equal to 24. And we have done that example. So make sure you've got those perfectly in your book. If you've done those examples and you've finished the first task, now move on to task three on the worksheet.
Should you finish task three, I would then ask you to look at the last example, which is an, is an extension task. Only do this if you have done the previous two examples and all the questions on the worksheet. So I'll take a look at that now. Here's the extension example. If A is equal to 3, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 5, we're asked to work out the following. Now remember that, say for example, if we had 3 squared, that means 3 multiplied by itself. So in these examples, when we see A squared, let's say, that means A times A. So we're going to substitute in here. A squared means A times A, and A is 3. So what this means, it means 3 squared, which means 3 times 3, which is 9, and we're done. A squared plus B squared, that means 3 squared plus B squared is 4 squared. 3 times 3 is equal to 9, plus 4 times 4 is equal to 16. You add those together and you get 25. The next example, C squared subtract A squared. So C squared would be 5 squared, subtract A squared would be 3 squared, 5 squared is 25, take away 3 squared is 3 times 3 is 9, so uh, 25 take away 9 is equal to 16. Last example, we're asked to work out AB. AB, substituting in, means A is 3 and B is 4. 3 times 4, AB means A times B, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and we're done. So only if you've finished the previous task, now try extension task 1, and you're done. Thanks for watching.